Greetings comrades, this is General Phoenix back in the action. As you can see, for my first ever PS2 gameplay, I'm doing one of the favourite games I used to play as a kid. Codename Kids Next Door Operation Video Game. I finally got everything sorted now, so first off I'm going to set everything up. I'll just, um, I'll do Phoenix. I will... Yeah, I'll just do uh, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Oh, one. Why not? I've got my memory card because I, I had to buy a separate memory card because the set I got didn't come with it, but I've got one now. Right, so as far as I know, there's no difficulty on this, but I have not played this in years. I'm not even joking. Since I first got the Xbox, it was around 11 or 12? It was, yeah, it was around 11 or 12 when I got my Xbox and I gave this to somebody else, but this is definitely going to be really a blast from the past. I only remember bits and bobs about this. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it still feels amazing. If anyone's not watched the, the old Cartoon Network show, watch it if you get the chance. It's not on anymore, but look up online or any any to get them on DVD, do whatever you have to, because this was... An, for us early 2000 kids, this was the show. This was one of the shows to watch. This and Ben 10, um, Generator Rex, um, Stormhawks. Oh, I'm trying to think of SpongeBob as well. Yeah, SpongeBob works as well. And there it is, the treehouse. I'm not Joe, I actually feel hypes and everything. I've, I've actually got some small goosebumps coming. And number two, oh yeah, he had the terrible jokes. Wait, isn't there one where he Brit turns the game off? <laughs> yeah, hit the power button by accident. And number five was the, the cool one of the group. Yeah, isn't she a, she like a villain? I can't remember if she was a villain like this. She was not on our side, number two. Need I remind you that Valkyrie once used to be a kid's next door operator. Yeah. She's now a teenager and our sworn enemy. Yeah, yeah, my I remember that. I think I remember the pimple episode she had in this number five actually helped her. Because she agreed that it was a little too It was what the kids were doing was a bit too much. Oh, it is the Stupidest, the dumbest villain of the franchise. The toilet I mean, seriously. Yeah, and he thinks this is actually the VR. Again, he was a stupid villain. Again, when we're playing through, I think I remember playing through this. You, he still thinks this is just a VR game. Again, though, how is it? Why is there a toilet right near the command center? And second, like, how does flooding it? How is that a good plan? I mean, yeah, it makes it. I get it. Number 
I think I remember. I'm trying to, I'm, I only remember bits and bobs of it. I know you can change your weapons, and you, and you do your players all five kids as well, which is good. I think number two though, you play as like the uh, almost like a space and no, not space invaders, or like the but can't but same all. But I think the rest of them you do play as the actual per like the third person character, the third person. Yeah, it's third person. I have to double. I have to double read the description. It doesn't say, doesn't say exactly. So the objective of this, I remember, is just to uh, defeat him. Again, what kind of name is that? And why toilets? Yeah. Yeah, that's very accurate. Okay, so move, move camera, jump, attack. So that's to jump. That's to attack. So hold that and then use. You don't have a chance against my toilet paper grenade, number one. Yeah, how does that do any damage to you? Toilet paper. Next door, operating instructions. Okay, yeah, I remember those being the checkpoints. Oh, out. what's this? And I got hit, and that's the health. I don't remember that. I think, I think when I was a kid, I used to just always play. I always use this to test all the weapons. Just reading this. Okay, so have I. Wait a minute, should I max this out? I think I'm getting the hang of it. Again, it's been years since I played this, but it's like, it wasn't, it's not like one of the most super complicated games to play. Again, how is this applied? It, yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever. And I think you're forgetting they can just literally grow a new tree and get all this remade. So yeah, virtual training. Extended battle mode, extended use all skills to defeat. Yeah, so the objective is now just beat him. I think there, I think there's one where they use this where we use the mustard gun for um it's hot chill I think it is. I think I think remember doing it. I think there's one where you play like a boss well, fight. After that training session, I think I'm ready for more of a challenge. Is there a super insane difficulty setting instead of super lame? But I'm a super villain. I think Mitch should be a super challenge, right? No. I get I remember the first time we actually see him is that he literally gets jolt springed actually from the floor out of the It's next door mission. I got my numbers there. Okay, so Rainbow Monkeys are a lot of valuable super and stuff. Defeat the enemies to or explore mission areas to find Rainbow Monkeys. I think there's I think you have to get like a hundred of them per mission. Because you unlock you unlock stuff. I don't I don't know exactly what. I think I remember seeing one time that you could play number 86 herself, but as a number one. Okay, look, collect a rainbow monkeys, activate super triple top secret K, K and D stuff. Return to the main menu and view the new secrets. So it was done. So it took me two minutes to play that. 
and super secret unlocked. I am, I'll have to go back and watch to do that and figure out what it is. But what I'll do is, during every mission, I'll just take it off and I'll just stop it where it introduces it and then I'll um, just play for you. And he's out. Literally just like when we first see him. I think, I think actually that's the same episode we meet Grandma Stuffham. Yeah, number three is like the gentle one, the gentle kind-hearted one. Yeah, just get that thing away from that. Okay, the iconic villains of, of the show. She knows I'd the beach. Yeah, so we have to find and capture all of them. Question, why wouldn't that be the first option for certain villains? Just put them on the moon. Oh, they, oh wait, they have the command the command centers on the moon. Yeah, she was the character I think with all like all the attitude. Uh, she was there again. She was a redhead. Yeah, I think yeah. Doesn't number four stay here? Yeah, because they need just to make sure no villains come back. <laughs> well as you can see we've completed the technically zero level i don't count tutorials as uh, official levels but it was okay to start off with it's nothing too big in fact i mean to prefer you are fighting against the toilinator as your first opponent and he's not even a good villain he's like a comedy relief one but overall, again, I used to love playing this as a kid. The levels over, I remember, I think it was always the last level I played off. Played off because it was like the big boss fight. I remember playing that one a lot. But the other ones, I, I like all of them pretty much. Even the tutorial has its wins at some points. But leave your comments down below. And until then, this is General Phoenix signing off.